During team of the season, U7 Buy will be offering up to 12% off on coins throughout the duration of team of the season. If you want to get your 12% off, make sure you use code Viper at checkout. But for now, let's get into the video. What is going on, guys? Viper here. Welcome back to another player review on the channel. I hope you guys are keeping well. Today, EA dropped for us team of the season moments Polinio, obviously Bundesliga related, under 23. This card has five star skills, which I do believe is an upgrade on his other cards. Three star weak foot, which is a bit of an issue. He's right footed, medium, medium, 5'10, 91 pace, 94 dribbling, 89 shooting, 92 passing, 78 physical. He's going to cost you an 85 rated squad with a team of the season player, which is quite an interesting choice by EA, in my opinion. And then only an 84 rated squad with a Brazilian player and 70 chemistry. So it's not too bad to do for a card that has five star skills. The weak foot, though, is too like If you've got a three star weak foot, you essentially have a two-star. Um, the three-star weak foot is absolutely woeful in this game. So you do have to take that into account whilst completing this SPC. That is only one footed. You cannot you cannot shoot on his weak foot. You can't pass on his weak foot. It really is quite poor. But hoping that the five-star skills will be good enough to carry us through the games. Um, he looks quite good, to be fair to him. As you can see here, there's 91 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, 94 attack positioning, 91 finishing. 92 shot power, 88 long shots, 77 volleys and penalties respectively. 95 vision, 86 crossing, 96 short pass with 91 long pass and 94 curve. And then guys, as we move on to his dribbling, he's got 97 agility, 93 balance, 86 reactions, 95 ball control and 95 dribbling. That's really good. 90 composure. Physicals aren't bad either with 90 stamina and 80 strength. Aggression and jumping is irrelevant because his heading accuracy isn't good. His aggression is just too low anyway. I personally think you want to put a chemistry cell on him that um, either does reaction, so you're looking at like a marksman, a maestro, something like that, or a chemistry cell that does up his pace and physical. I'm going to go for the Hawk because that's what I want. I want the physical boost instead of the uh, the reactions boost that still should be good enough, them, them reactions. He goes up to 96 pace here, 99 attack positioning, 96 finishing, 99 shot power, 98 long shots, uh, 85 strength. The jumping is irrelevant um, and the penalties are irrelevant as well. But you get that big pace boost and you get that big shooting boost, which is important. If you don't want to worry about the pace, you know, your options are marksman, as I said. Um, engine as well, which is obviously pace. Um, and then if you don't want to use that, Maestro is a great option. And then you've got options like the Deadeye, which will really boost up his passing as well. His passing is almost max in the right areas, though. So I think that's a bit of a waste also. I'm interested to try this card. Let's get into a game of champs and see how we get on. All right, then, guys. Into the game of champs we go. This guy's got Tyrone Mings at CDM. That's quite interesting. Furlan Mendy still. Um, he has Fop Birthday Kraus, which is a good card. Prime Kaka. I've got the pin one on loan that I'm using this team. Uh, Desai, Reese James, Odegaard. It's a good team, that. Let's get into the game and see how we get on with our new man. Though. We're playing him up front as well um, in our 5-3-2 setup. So, yeah, let's see how we are. Uh, let's see how he goes. Here we go then. Okay, this guy's doing that off the rip. That's a bit, a bit scary. Nice from Polinio already, defensively there. Well, here he is on the ball. Oh, wow. That was a sprint boost. If you look on the controller, that was a sprint boost. Oh, my word. Jorginho, he's about to start dancing. Right, here's Son. What are you doing, Polinio, pal? He looked like he was starting to run and then stopped, and it confused me. Nice from DaCosta. Sancho, Polinio. Oh, that's a nice turn, that is. Polinio's in. What a finish that is as well. Jesus Christ, 1-0. Polinio with a goal. Good sprint boost. Um, and it completely sold the defender there, which was really nice. This guy's a bit of a skiller, man. Oh, dear, Reese. How has Kaka scored that? Fair play. All right. It's going to be the fight of the Brazilians, this, isn't it? Ref? No? Okay. Yeah, this guy's a good player, man. Oh, what on earth is that ball physics there? Oh. Sprint boost again. Polinio's gone again. Look at that speed. Oh, my God. Stop him. He's quick. He's got a really good shot on him as well. Look at that. Wow. 2 1, guys. This looks like this is going to be an entertaining game. This dude seems like a decent player. Da Costa does really well there. He does absolutely brilliantly, in fact. I really hope Frankfurt win that final now. Yeah, nice pass. Jaden Sancho, Polinio on his weak peg. 
Is that going in? Yes, it is. Hat trick already in 11 minutes for Polinio. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Because this isn't a bad player either, by the way. Nice from DaCosta. Here goes Polinio again. Ah. He does feel a little bit stiff on the skill moves. And maybe I'm, I'm tripping. No, he, he doesn't feel like the, the cleanest. Good pass. That's an awful cross, though. All right, that's a free kick for him as well. But what a start, though. Hey, guys, you can't really get better than that. Uh, three, three goals from Polinio in 11 minutes. You'll be hard-pressed to find anything better than that. And he does he does feel quite nice. Obviously, by Leverkusen, you can link him to Wurtz if you've got him. And Wurtz is an absolute baller. Oh, he's moving the keeper for me. Oh, my God. I got caught in two mines there. He's through. No, he isn't. The cost is there. Oh, well. Yeah, fair enough. I don't understand. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, I just don't understand this game, but... I thought I made a good tackle there. He certainly doesn't have <clears throat> the Brazilian kind of like cleanness to his dribbling. I think you'd expect from most Brazilians that have five-star skills. But he does still feel nice on the ball. And his passing's really nice too. Look at that. What a ball that is from Polinio, man. It's not very often, and I'm being dead serious here. Um... That you get too many five-star skillers that are that good playmakers. Oh, my God. Oof. I'll tell you something. He utilizes his strength really well. He doesn't have the body type to, to, to have good strength, even though he does on his card stats, right? Nice to Costa. I mean, he feels quite powerful and strong, which is really strange. Ah. You can never do the simple passes on this game. They literally never work. Oh, we're playing good FIFA, though. Polinia, what a challenge that is from Tyrone Mings. Who did he bring into his midfield, then? To... Nice to Porto. I don't know who he brought into his midfield instead to to put Mings into centre-back, unless he went into a, a free-back, which I don't think he did, so... This guy's a decent little baller, though, that I'm playing here, guys. Nice one to cost. This is only my second game of champs as well, so... I'm going to really adjust quite quickly here. And it seems he's a Norwich fan, so we can't make sure we can't lose to him. What an awful pass that is from Jorginho there. As I say that, we're going to concede again, aren't we? Good save, Alisson. It's a good game, though, this one. This is, like, looking similar to... Um, if you guys watched the Acadia review back in the day, it's got that kind of feel to it, this game. Oh, come on, Georgie. I'm, do you know what? I think Jorginho's fallen off loads, his team of the season. Team of the year, sorry. Oh, I'm really struggling to, to use his team of the year nowadays. Whip it in, pal. You don't have to go short all the time. Oh, well. Nice. Well defended in the end there. Right, here we go. Laporte, Jorginho. Deli Alli's been caught. Has he, though? Who's that there? Kaka. How is... Fair play. Fair play to this guy, man. He's a really decent player. Oh, my word. He's just really good at moving the ball quick. Doesn't really have that left stick dribbling that I was, I was expecting. But he's good, man. He is good. Oh, my... Where is my team at? Nice on the port, eh, there. Really important bit of defending that. Sancho's there. He's probably not going to win that. No. Well, I think at half-time, guys, I might just bring back some highlights here because this is stressing me out. How good this guy is. That's going to be a goal for him, isn't it? What a save, Alisson. Get it in there. Nice. I can't. I just can't. I can't play against this guy for some reason. I'm really, really struggling. I need to need to lock in a bit more here. Here we go again. Nice. Oh my god, he's just had a breakdown on the pitch. Did you see that? It's a pen ref. Thank you very much. On the stroke of half time, we've got a penalty. We're we'll going to give it to our new man, Polinio. Finish it, my man. Finish it. Oh my god. Oh, how have I scored that? I don't know how I've scored that. All right, guys. Second half kicking off. Um, 
Now, I know what a lot of you guys are going to think and ask in the comments. And it's going to be about um, who's better, this Polino or Phil Foden. And for me, I just really, really didn't like Foden. But Polino offers something to me because he has the five-star skills, you know. So, And I do a lot of skills, so I don't know what, what's going on there, mind. But there we go. There's Jaden. Good play from Jaden. Good defender from this lad, though. I'm, uh, I'm quite shocked at how good a player this is for my uh, my second game. Oh, Polinio. That's the issue, though, right, with this card. The three-star weak foot is very weak. Um, you know, I, I, I'd much prefer... But I... I mean, I prefer the skills I, I, over the weak foot anyway, you know, but... Oh, he's feeling himself there. He has, like, really good strength, though, is what I've noticed. He, he's quite glitchy with his skill moves and his strength. Even though his skill moves don't perform the quickest, if that makes sense. Um, he's still, because of his like physicality, he's able to really be quite quite a big asset in, in that department because because of his like his body type and strength. He has got a good body type in game, as you can see there. Oh, yes. That's got to be a foul ref. That's got to be a foul ref. What am I seeing? That's got to be a foul ref. What the hell? I don't know how this guy's just got away with all of that. I really, really, truly don't. You're joking. Nice. Well done in the end there. Yeah, I'm, I've been, been impressed so far. Obviously, we're playing him at striker, and I don't think striker is necessarily his best position. What on earth is this game doing to me, man? I'm, I want to get my, uh, my, my my rank one this week for... So I want to try and get that Jude Bellingham. Untradeable and in the, the, the Tots pack, you know, so... But man, this game is uh, really not being nice to me at the minute. That's another goal for Polinio. That's five for him. This guy's going to leave. I'll bring you back in a moment. All right, guys. So review done on Polinio. What I will say about the card is the weak foot is the biggest issue about the card. Um... His skill moves are nice. They are a bit clank, clunky at points. But he makes up for that with his body type and physical. Um, on the, you know, similar to where Foden should be gliding across the pitch. Um, Polinio is a bit more of a, a an aggressive, powerful skiller. Um, and he has that agility and balance really high as well. But the comparisons to Foden... Um, the comparison to like a Jaden Sancho for up birthday. They're all there. I think this card's better at passing. I think this card feels better dribbling wise than Foden. I think his skill moves are more important to have than the four star weak foot off Foden. I like the card a lot. Um, and as I said, the skill moves aren't the cleanest and they're not the fastest. But he makes up for that in other areas. Shooting was really good on the card. Um, his passing is immaculate. You know, his through balls are brilliant. Double X's are good. Over the tops are really nice of him. And then whilst he doesn't have the quickest skill moves, his dribbling is still really nice. Good sprint boost on him. Um, good shot cancel. But most importantly, he has really good physicals mixed with his um, his uh, good skill moves. I would say, genuinely, I know he's right next door to him. He is very, very, very similar to Pim Kaka. You can literally see the comparisons right here, can't you? Kaka's a little bit worse on the passing. A little bit worse on the dribbling, actually, too. Um, but they are very similar cards. And if you like Kaka on this game, you're going to love this card. Just make sure you're aware that the three-star weak foot is basically useless. Um, and he's one-footed, essentially, at that point. Um, if you can get away with that, then you'll really enjoy the card. He is relatively cheap to do for how good his card is. Uh, let's go through and rate his stats out of 10 real quick. Pace, I'm going to give an 8 out of 10. He didn't feel the fastest, but he is still rapid, you know. There are quicker players that have 5-star skills on the game, but he was no slouch at all. He was relatively quick, uh, but just didn't feel as fast as 96 pace suggests. Shooting was really nice. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10, I think. Shot power maxed out. Long shots almost maxed out. Finishing really good, and he made really good runs as well, to be fair to him. And because he has that kind of bigger, bigger body type in game... He's 5'10 as well, um, and that higher strength for a card like this. He's able to really hold off centre-backs on the on the shoulder. 
with his um with his pace that is okay and you've got his shooting that is really really reliable i've got to say really really impressed with his shooting um so you can't fault him there at all passing is going to be a nine out of ten great over the tops great through balls most importantly though with how the game is currently you need to have players that are good at over the top balls he is really really good at them i've got to say any over the top he'll find um, to make sure you play it on the shoulder and he's there you know he's a, he's there finding that pass and he is really really good at it normal passing is brilliant on him as well driven passes okay you know driven passes are a bit broken this year or now even since they patched them both driven passes are okay and his double x's are all right as well i also don't see him as a cam by the way i'm um, sorry as a striker i see him as a central cam i know the weak foot isn't good enough to play central cam but i think that's his best position personally dribbling i'm gonna give him a nine out of ten um, this is not including his skill moves, but his agility and balance is really good. He has a great sprint boost in game, and he turns very quickly. The reactions I didn't seem to have an issue with. Um, and his general dribbling was insane. You know, his dribbling and ball control, very, very sticky. Um, I didn't like it at first, but then I grew into it, and it is really, really nice. Then moving on to the physical. The kind of card he is, I'm actually going to give this an 8 out of 10, literally just for his strength. That kind of strength on a card like this, as I've already stated, is really valuable. Cannot go wrong with it. You know, he's able to hold off. Midfielders, as he's driving through, he's able to play against the fullbacks and hold off the fullbacks also. But more importantly, he's really good when he's running through the lines on a getting behind kind of uh, roll. Shoulder to shoulder with the centre backs, he's able to offer a little bit of uh, strength there, which is nice to have. I like this card a lot. I think it's better than Foden. Do I think it's better than Kulisevsky? Probably not. And um, they're very different players, of course. I would argue it's better than a card like Bernardo Silva, due to the fact it's got skill moves. But for me personally, Beats Foden. I'm going to rate this card an 8.5 out of 10. And then for value, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 as well. I think he is pretty decent value. But guys, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell so you don't miss a player review. But guys, that's going to be it from me for now, so take care.